Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to Life Apollo's home of the most trusted beard and automotive news. Happy to have you here. Uh, we've got some incredible news for all of you watching today, except it's kind of about me, which is a little bit surreal, to be honest. So let's do our best and have a, a vlog day. <laughs> you tired, Santa? She says, I don't care about your new car. All right, guys, so we've been waiting over three weeks now uh, to get my new car in. It's been sort of stuck in transportation limbo, but it's finally here. I've actually wanted this car for a really long time, but the timing didn't really make sense to buy it until basically right now. And in case you guys were wondering why I have cardboard on my house. Can't be too careful with all those weirdos around. So with that, guys, all we have left to do is show the car. So uh, introducing my, my, my new dream daily. She looks so good, guys. Yes, we bought a 2020 Ford Raptor in white, has the 802A package, uh, but other than that, like it's relatively stock right now. We're gonna take this car and we're basically gonna build it into like the ultimate apocalypse Raptor uh, that also happens to be our main daily driver. Man, I'm just so excited, guys. I've wanted this car for so long as a daily. We used to have like a Subaru Outback, not that there's anything wrong with that, but it was just never fun to drive. This is an entirely new experience, and I absolutely hated trucks before I started driving this Raptor. Ooh, yes, going inside. Got the nice Raptor stitching on the back of the seats. Uh, we got the extended cab version. There's just like a crazy amount of space back there. Perfect for transporting puppos basically all over the state. Oh man, this looks so good, guys. I think I might need to do like a carbon steering wheel. There's a couple places that make full carbon steering wheels for the Ford Raptor. I think that would look pretty amazing. Also, a really strange thing, guys. I've never actually owned a truck of this size before, and I, I, no one ever told me how much space there is in the interior of the Ford Raptor. Like, look, look at this, guys. Look at this. Seriously. Like, you could literally fit, like, an entire cooler in the bottom of this thing. It's ridiculous. Well, we got the key. Uh, time to, to go. The only problem with the Raptor that I've seen so far, and there, there is sort of one sort of glaring issue, is with this right here. And... No, no, no excitement there whatsoever. Now the question is, can I make it out of the garage without scraping the antenna? No, no! God. Oh God! Oh Lord! So yeah, probably gonna have to go buy a stubby antenna because that 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 was sad. Let's put it into sport mode and let's floor it. Oh, that's pretty good for a truck, man. Woo. I gotta say, like for a truck, like flooring it, like that, that is not bad for acceleration whatsoever. After having the McLaren and the Hellcat and all the other cars, like this car is so different to drive. I just feel like I'm so tall off the ground. Hello, Tiny Cooper. It's too cute. It's, it's disgusting. And yes, the first stop that we're making on the semi-maiden voyage uh, of the truck is, well, it's, it's uh, McDonald's. Thank you for McDonald's, not gonna help you. Hi, can I get a fish filet and a spicy uh, McChicken? That'll be it. Total 640 is first window, thank you. Thank you. And we got the food and we're going back home. No. <laughs> Oh, that's gonna suck. All right, guys, so we just got back home not a moment too soon. It was just about to hail. Uh, but put in the comments below, what is the first mod that we should do for the 2020 Raptor? I'm gonna need your guys' help on this. I'm pretty new to trucks. Oh, man, I'm so excited to start building this car for you guys. And then, yeah, we're gonna also do some stuff with this too. Hmm. All right, guys, we are back downstairs uh, with the set behind me. It's kind of crazy uh, how much more comfortable I am talking to you guys here than I am sort of out and about doing vlogs. I've never really been that comfortable doing it, but we had to get one done for 
for the new car today and hopefully many more in the future. So thanks for bearing with me, guys. It's been a long time since I've been sort of back at the vlog game. Oh, and by the way, guys, the reason why I was able to get uh, such an incredible 2020 Ford Raptor is due to my buddy, Doran, literally has the greatest Ford hookups uh, that I've ever heard of anywhere. And he doesn't just facilitate Raptors like the one that I got, guys. He does GT350s, GT500s, uh, the Ford GT, and as of yesterday, the Ford Bronco, wink, wink. If you're thinking about getting one of those cars, uh, don't talk to anyone else, talk to Doran. I'll put his information in the description below. Instagram DMs are the best way to reach him. He's just awesome. Anyway, I had to shout out Doran because he's just, he's just an awesome guy that took care of me. But there's another reason why I'm back down here, guys, and it's actually because we had some incredible news happening today in the rest of the automotive community. Along with some of the great news we're gonna be talking about here, uh, there's also a couple people that need to be given a monster congratulations. Two creators that I wanna spotlight right away is one, one of my favorite automotive review channels, uh, two of the best guys in the car community. The Straight Pipes just hit a million subs on YouTube. What an incredible achievement. These guys have consistently been one of my favorite automotive channels uh, ever since I started looking into automotive YouTube. Immediate facts, fantastic humor, and just great cinematics for everything that they do. There are very few car channels as deserving of a million subs on YouTube than Straight Pipes. So if you have a minute, go over to their latest video, their million subscriber special. I uh, wish them congratulations and tell them to keep bringing the fantastic work down the pipe. Next up guys, a huge congratulations to Chris Fix on YouTube who just surpassed Motor Trend to become the second largest automotive channel, period, across the board. With over 6.55 million subs on YouTube, the only channel that's bigger than him is Top Gear. And the difference between Top Gear and Chris Fix is an entire production team and many, many millions of dollars. Congratulations to Chris Fix on becoming just an absolute staple, even more than you already were in the automotive community. A truly incredible achievement. Maybe he He'll be the first person to hit 10 million subs for the automotive community. And there's no way that I could let the rest of today pass without talking about one of the best videos ever. It's a follow-up to a story that we did just a couple days ago. It has to do with Shmi 150 with the first look at the AMG GT Black Series. Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me today to take a first look at a car that I've been looking forward to, the new Mercedes AMG GT Black Series. As you guys will remember, Shmi was the focus of the entire commercial for that car, a, a truly momentous occasion for the automotive community. And having known Shmi for a little while at this point, it was so cool to watch him and that. Now he gets the first look at the AMG GT Black Series. Everything coming up aces for Shmi. Go check out his video if you haven't seen it already. Skimming through the rest of the news, guys, make sure to go check out Damon Fryer's secondary account by the same name. He's been just pumping out a crazy amount of vlogging material there, even more so than the main Daily Driven Exotics channel. And a lot of this stuff is very family oriented, very, very different from the main DDE stuff. If you guys have been missing some of the main Daily Driven Exotics account, uh, make sure to go check out Damon Fryer's personal one because he's putting up so much content there. There's obviously a major push after taking like three to four months off. It's a pretty big deal for their entire brand. Gotta make sure I mention TJ Hunt, guys, continuing the R8 V. 10 plus rebuild series. Just an absolutely huge series for him, averaging 400 to 600,000 views per video. No doubt one of the best moves he's made over the last two years. Go check it out, guys. I just love watching him take this car from what it was to what it's going to be. I can't wait till it's finished. And in the kind of weird, strange section that I've never really seen on Donut Media, make sure to go check out a video they put up just like a day or two ago. Uh, the insane legal battle over, uh, well, something that sort of hangs off the back of trucks and that's all I'm gonna say I don't want to get demonetized a very interesting look uh, from one of their best hosts guys make sure to go check it out Donut Media continually coming up with very strange video topics but generally they're always entertaining and I, I definitely enjoyed this one as much as you could and while I hoped you guys enjoyed today's video uh, with the truck reveal for the first five minutes and the rest of the news I want to make sure I clue you in on tomorrow's episode uh, we've got some just huge news to go over uh, some stuff that 
that we haven't really been able to sort of sink our teeth into yet, but it concerns some of the biggest channels that we cover on a day-to-day -day basis, stuff that you guys have not seen because, well, I, I can't really go into it now, but get excited for this, guys. Uh, Monster news coming tomorrow. Do not miss it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And again, in the comments below, make sure to tell me what truck mods we need for the 2020 Ford Raptor. I'm brand new to the truck game, and I want to make sure we have some really cool stuff coming, but I'm going to need to lean on you guys for help in this area because I'm a neophyte here. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Stay safe, sane, and healthy, and we'll catch you later. That, that's all I got. Bye.